Connecting Microsoft Power Automate Cloud with Microsoft Power Automate for Desktop is straightforward. I'm Anders Jensen, let me show you how it's done. The first thing we do is to go to our start menu, then search for Power Automate Machine Runtime. If it's there, you can skip the next two minutes of this video, otherwise we just need to install it. The first requirement is that you have Microsoft Pro either 10 or 11. To find out, we go to the start menu again, search for system information and open it. And here you can see I have a Pro version. I have Windows 10. To make it work again, you need either Windows 10 or 11 Pro. It's very easy to upgrade if you, for instance, have the home edition. So with that in place, I just close the system information. You'll need to install Power Automate for desktop once more if you already haven't. To do so, we go to Power Automate Cloud, click Create. Up here in the right corner, you can find the install. Choose the Power Automate for desktop. The setup will download and once it's finished, I just click the exe file to run it. Wait a few seconds and we can click next. Here, the important part is that you want to tick the install the machine runtime app to connect to the Power Automate Cloud portal. Make sure this is ticked. If you only have the home edition, this will not show up. I repeat, if you only have the home edition, this install the machine runtime app to connect to the Power Automate Cloud portal will not show up. I just say yes here and then I click install. I fast forward to this so now it's finished. You can enable the extensions, it's not needed if you already have, so I just launch the app. Here you have your Power Automate for desktop running. Your flows will be there as well, you just need to sign in. Let me do so. Like this. My password, I'll just paste it in like this. And since I have two factor on, I just need to approve it. We are in. There you go. Now let's create the connection between cloud and desktop. I go to the start menu again, and then I search for Power Automate Machine Runtime. There it is. That's the app that we're going to use. So we'll open it. First part is that we need to register the machine in an environment. I only have one, that's the Anders Jensen default. That's by the way the same you can see I use here in Power Automate Cloud. There you go, we are now connected. And if I go to my cloud, if I go to monitor, I go to machines, my machine will pop up here. That's it, that's the one we just created. If I click these three dots, I can click edit details. I can give my machine a name and say Anders work station like this, and I can click save. So now let's create a flow that run a Power Automate for desktop flow. We'll first need a simple flow in Power Automate for desktop. So I will be creating a new flow. This one will just be called test connection. And I click create. Here. Let's just open up the calculator, a very simple desktop application, since this is not the scope here. So I'll find a run application. That's it. And just write in calc exit. This will open up your Windows calculator. So then I click save. I remember to save my flow. There you go. Now we can run this application. So if I run it from the desktop, it will look like this. Just open up a calculator. Let me close it and let's create the connection from cloud. We already created it. We just need to run a flow from there. So I go to Power Automate Cloud. I click Create. Let's pick an instant cloud flow and just manually trigger my flow. This will of course works with all the other flow types when we include Power Automate for desktop actions. So this one will just be connection test from cloud. And I click create. Now we add a new step. So I'll say desktop. These desktop flows will show up. There's only two actions in it. 
choose to run a flow built with Power Automate for desktop like this. So here you can see the different parameters. So I can choose to connect directly to the machines or use an on-premise data gateway. We only do it in large enterprise on-prem solutions, so just choose the directly to machine. Here I can choose a machine or machine group. So if I uh, click this drop down, you can see that my machine is here. This one was the one that we created and we call it Anders Workstation. Here we have the domain and username. And in case this doesn't show up, let me show you how you can find it. And go down to your start menu again, type in CMD command prompt. Then you say, who am I? And as you can see, this one equals to this one here. It's only when this does not show up, you need to do this. Here you just put in your Windows password. I'll put in mine. Then I click create. So now the connection is there. We can configure it further. We can choose the desktop flow that we want. We just created that. That was the test connection. And the run mode, we can choose between attended or unattended. I only had the attended license, so I choose that one. The unattended is if you want to run it while you are not at your machine, for example, at night or at the server, we will pick that one. So now let's just save the flow and test it. So I click test here, choose manually and click test. Here we are already signed in, so I just click continue and I run my flow. So then I click done. This will take a little while. You can see here, it just needs to make the connection. And in a few seconds, my uh, calculator will open. There you go. You can see it opened up in the background. That's how easy it is to make the connection. The next lesson is here on the screen. Just go click it.